Hi, Dan. Is that okay? Go for it. Let's go. Contact. <laughs> A lot of times people want to see what it's like to travel. And you got to remember that Sue and I modified this rig and put this desk here and these recliners. Now the Chan man made this desk as big as he could and last minute made it two inches shorter in width. I'm so glad I did that because truth be told, it probably could have been four inches shorter or this edge probably would be better if it was two inches over. But it's really not that bad to come back to go to the restroom or to open the refrigerator up, although you have to stand in the center of the refrigerator so you can open both doors. And here is our pantry, which is probably 14 or 16 inches wide. Here's the bed. We've already slept in here with the slide closed like this, and it's kind of cozy, uh, very workable. If we didn't have this chair here, we could actually climb back and forth and still use the shower back there. So everybody's got to come up with their style. Everybody's got to come up uh, with where they're going to store their stuff. And if we were smart and good videographers, we would have had this light on. So one of the things that I reverted back to, at least for our antenna and our satellite, or excuse me, our antenna for our over the air, and this actually is for hookups, I've reverted back to putting these on my steering wheel. They straighten out flat like this, and when you want to put them on, literally, it's that fast to put them on. Now, why have I been doing that? Well, we've been doing this for four years, and I can tell you, and I'm not trying to be funny, There's we've become comfortable enough, and we've stopped using our checklist, thinking that we're smart enough. There's been a couple of times where I literally was ready to pull away because I had ants in my pants and we would have forgotten to disconnect our power and take our, you know, 900 or $1,000 worth of stuff in that box. Uh, we have to stay connected so that we can bring the full wall slide in, which is very large and it's got two high draw motors. So uh, I highly recommend those bands for the steering wheel. Uh, I can tell you, as somebody that's been doing it for four years, that you could call experienced, especially if you're a newbie. I'm telling you, that's a newbie mistake that an experienced person will make eventually if you don't have a plan. So we brought the electrical, the famous gray electrical box in that we did a video on. Uh, you can see that it's got the bulldog, excuse me, <laughs> the watchdog and the locking equipment and the stand and all that kind of stuff and we perched that because we got to put it somewhere we put it in between the seats and we put a little cloth on it or wipe it off a little bit better and we actually use it as our junk and snack table So as I mentioned, we've been having some trouble lately uh, getting deaf. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, the price has not only been going up, but uh, we haven't been able to easily get it. And that's okay. I mean, we have an eight and a half gallon deaf tank that would last a very long time. I can tell you that at this stop here, we actually left behind a brand new container of DEF that I had marked on it that I bought it on 1029 of last year. Now if it was truly that fresh it would have only been about six months and I would have put it in there. But when I looked at the date code and I went online to be able to interpret that date code 
I could see that it was literally made in April, so it was one year old already. So we only got about, what, eight mile drive? Yeah, pretty much. Should be there in about uh, 12 minutes. So we did a lot of things while we were here. We had uh, Cindy from uh, our stay in Valencia. She came up because she loves this area. She was our tour guide. She took us to more places than we would ever have seen. Yeah, for And sure. we don't know if that video is gonna be before or after this one. We've got a 3.30 appointment today at the uh, winery. We're expecting it to be wide open and just a big rig parking dream come true. So let's see if that plays out. Yeah. Boy, this is easy in, easy out, honey. In 500 feet, arrive at Tom and James Sellers. up, table to pivot around this joint, swivel around this joint, swivel this way, swivel that way, swivel this way. You hope that this movement during leveling is way less than the rig when you're driving. So you didn't see anything straining, huh? Didn't see anything straining. Engineering approved. So if we were going to be here long term for a week and we wanted to be perfectly level, which is important the most, I guess, is if you have a, an absorption refrigerator, meaning a propane refrigerator. But it's also irritating, you know, when cabinets open or cabinets that don't necessarily latch real well, they'll just open. You can see that this tire here is a down enough that I was able to rotate it but then when Sue went in the rig, she settled it enough that it, that it does not. Oh, but come over seriously? Here. Yeah, come here. Oh. Well, you know, 110 pounds is enough, honey. To 110, I wish. Yeah. No, I don't wish too much. But you can see that this one oh my God. is off. That is way So off. if we wanted to stay level, we would raise up a little bit more. I would have Sue come out here and 
put some boards under her because uh, she's more agile than me and it's a kind of a dangerous job so because I don't want to do <laughs> Jeez, it uh, a lot. but what we're gonna do I'm gonna go inside now and we're gonna lower it just a little bit Sue yell through to me to the screen once it hits yeah. okay okay Sue are you ready oh my god I'm right here <laughs> all right down tell me when Going. Keep going. Oh, you're kidding. No. Nope. Keep going. We're good. Alright. Well, we're at our Tobin James Cellars uh, Harvest Host location. You can see in the background, Miles is in this giant parking lot. We have a Winnebago uh, Tour Class B on the side and even recently a Vista motorhome came in. We had uh, two uh, class, small class C's this morning that were in the front here and uh, they actually left. So one thing that there is in the Harvest Host Network is there's a variety of places for you to stay and if you can't fit in a place like this, you can't fit anywhere and this is this is uh the chan man approved if you're afraid to uh, go yeah. to a walmart and get hit by a cart you certainly won't get hit by anything at this place right right so how many did they say could actually park here they didn't really say oh uh, yeah i see what you're saying on yeah, on the website it actually says four really? and yeah and i think that's a good point sue because uh, a lot of times they have the number down so that it doesn't turn into a free-for-all camping ground. Yeah. But uh, if there's a low number and you really want to fit that into your schedule, it always uh, behooves yourself to call and find out the particulars because they could very well have all four slots at a different place, let's say for instance, uh, taken and you tell them what you're driving and they say hey don't worry about it so there's a lot of flexibility in this program so uh, don't forget to use it You can see how they're set up here. Every six feet, they've got a section divided up for uh, each tasting group. That's a COVID thing. But right behind us is really cool guest house. And from what we are hearing is this used to be a stagecoach um, house, and they actually do have three rooms for rent here for members of this uh, winery. Pretty cool. So tomorrow we're visiting some friends, Ray and Peaches. We've uh, visited them, what, two years ago, honey? Two years. Uh, Ray actually is the one that uh, cost me $300,000 in RV expenses because he planted the bug and then it's like any bug you get, you have to get vaccinated. So the only way I could get vaccinated was to buy a Dutch Star. But at any rate, Ray is the one that brought his rig over, parked outside of our boulevard uh, where we lived in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, planted the seed, and now we're our beers. Well, we're gonna go visit them, and we had sent them, I can't show it to you because it's actually on the phone that uh, Sue is using, but I asked them, I said, which wines would you prefer we bring because we're not really wine experts or wine drinkers. Well, they gave us some excellent uh, advice. We're gonna bring all three bottles and uh, God only knows what that's gonna do to our constitution over the next couple of days. But we're really happy that we've got some direction because you don't want me picking out the wines. <laughs> got a really nice gift room here too. A lot of cool things to buy. So it really does have that Western look to it. Fun.
they were telling us that uh, a number of times per year for members of the winery, they'll have these giant parties. And how many people did they? Oh, like see? 700. Yeah, like 700 people. And like Sue just pointed out, they've got the pizzeria the oven going and they can have a fire, if, you know, for the ambience. These tables are massive. She says they close this whole parking lot off and they have enough seating area and table capacity for all of the guests that they have coming. And that's why they have such a large parking area across the street. Uh, we had remarked that when we were driving in here and when we were walking over here that holy cats, they, you know, they only advertise that there's only four spots there. You know, you could probably put, uh, you know, 50 RVs there if you really want to do. Um, you have to be careful that they don't have a function here and you just don't show up just because they have a lot of room. Give them a call and if they have the room, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to accommodate you. They're very friendly here, very helpful and we found uh, it really was a fun experience here.